Richard Nixon. Aside from being a crooked ass motherfucker, he was uh, responsible for Operation Menu. He interfered in Latin America through the ouster of democratically elected presidents. Most notably, there was the overthrow of Allende in Chile, which ended up with Pinochet, a brutal dictator, being put in charge of Chile. And he invented the Southern strategy, Gerald Ford. There was a Maggie's incident, or however that's pronounced. His economic policy was pretty piss poor, and he had the shortest term of any president that didn't die in office, Jimmy Carter. The only president to serve a full term and not appoint a Supreme Court justice. He came up with the Carter Doctrine. He renewed aid to Pakistan in order to help support the Mujahideen, another thing that never bit us in the ass ever. He supported the Shah of Iran, again, never, never bit us in the ass. Ronald Reagan. Aside from Reaganomics, which was really Thatcherism, he fired all the air traffic controllers in order to break their strike, invaded Granada, escalated the Cold War that had been experiencing a period of detente, the Reagan Doctrine, which again, never bit us in the ass. The war on drugs, the bombing of Libya, Iran-Contra, Antony Scalia, though he did put Ted Kennedy on the bench and nominated Von Walker, who turned out to be the first federal gay judge, or the first federal judge that is gay. George Herbert Walker Bush vetoed the Civil Rights Act of 1990, invaded Panama, NAFTA, and Clarence Thomas. Bill Clinton, more NAFTA, welfare reform, reverse Glass-Steagall, again, Policy never bit us in the ass. DOMA, don't ask, don't tell. The Commodity Futures Modernization Act, which again, never bit us in the ass. He strongly supported neoliberal policies, the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, and he also doesn't know the definition of the word is. Al Gore. He flooded a cave after trapping local boys inside. He created Man Bear Pig by imagining him, and he nuked our imagination. Seriously? Do I have to? Yes! Fine. George W. Bush. Well, this one might be easier if I just covered what he didn't fuck up. In order to build a new ballpark for the Rangers, he had the city of Arlington use eminent domain to take land from people who then sued, won the case, but have yet to receive any of the money that was awarded to them by the court. Oh, and he also used taxpayer funding to build the stadium, which has also never been paid back, and taxes have been increased in order to pay off the bond which covered the debt. In the time period that Bush was an owner of the Rangers, they barely ever broke 500, the highest being 530, and had zero postseason appearances. Then there was whatever the fuck he was trying to do with Angela Merkel that one time. George W. Rock Obama. Same shit different president. But let's do this. Gitmo, the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act, aka Obamacare, aka Romney Care, aka the Heritage Foundation's Consumer Choice Plan. Whatever the fuck he's trying to do in the Middle East. More neoliberal economic policies. And if you took note back in the day, trying people under the Espionage Act of 1917 for being whistleblowers and leakers. Continued curtailment of civil rights, anything he's done with the internet, his jump shot, cutting funding for NASA, failure to be Jesus Christ or the radical socialist that Fox News promised us. Oh, and not calling Congress out for being absolute fuckwits. Hey, we'll see you in